All right, I need to complain about drones for just a second. I know there are a million practical uses for these flying cameras, but the angle that they often shoot video from can be unflattering if you're a guy and think your hair is as thick as it was when you were a teenager. I mean, this is what I've heard, you know, from friends. But luckily, some drone innovations that we do on this show aren't about pictures. They're only about speed. Now there are fast drones that can fly all alone. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. A few years ago, we introduced you to the Drone Racing League, a fast flying sport matching advanced drone technology with the human skill to fly them. Recently, the DRL upped the stakes, awarding a million dollar prize to the team who built the fastest drone for its air series or artificial intelligence robotic racing. These are drones to fly without human intervention through a race course programmed by teams from around the world. So we invited teams to come in and basically build the best AI pilot they could. And we raced them against each other to see who had the fastest pilot. I traveled back to DRL's headquarters in New York City to catch up with CEO Nicholas Horbachevsky and see an AI drone for myself. So these are our drones. Wow, okay. So which one is which? So this is the Racer 4. So this is the drone that we race in all of our human competition. Mm -hmm. This is the Racer AI that we used in the air program. What are the differences between the two? The Racer 4 is built for speed and performance on the racecraft. The Racer AI, we had to design for this autonomous flight. So it's going to have very different functionality. You see these large cameras in the front that let the computer see, and you see this huge processing unit in the middle, which is where all the calculation is being done. There are so many steps to creating something that can fly like a human. You have perception issues. It has to see the world. It has to understand what it's seeing. So you're really challenging a wide range of different programming elements and then having to translate it to hardware in a real world setting. The good news though is this is exponential development. The algorithms get smarter. They learn every time they fly. Because these drones require so much real-time data processing, the onboard computer is much heavier requiring a different mechanical configuration to get it off the ground. In the beginning, the drones struggled to identify the course, to navigate it, and by the end, they were competing for fractions of a second finishes to see who was fastest. The potential for AI drones goes far beyond sports. They could be adapted for building inspections, search and rescue efforts, or close surveillance of dangerous forest fires. Have the drones raced against humans? So yes, we challenged it against a top human pilot, Gab 707. Gab beat the drone, he finished the course in about six seconds, and the AI drone finished in about 11 seconds. But when you think about it, that's only a five second gap. And that is such a huge improvement from where the AI started the season. So they're on this exponential curve. The day is coming when AI racers, created by humans, will easily defeat us and win all the trophies. <laughs>